um, just checking your references you give in against my Quran. Mm. Either you are a filthy fat liar, or all the imams since I was a child mm. have been lying to me because okay. Islam. I was taught mm. Surah Baqarah at two uh, five six says like Rafidin. There is no compulsion in in religion. Okay. And then another surah, for instance, says um, Surah Kafirun at six means your religion is yours, mine is mine, mm. and it's meant to be a peaceful religion. But you are just throwing too many things. I can't even, you know, search for. Her. Okay. Where, let, where let, do you get these things let us, from? Let us. It's in my head, my friend. I'm a walking library. Let us go one by one. You said Islam mean peace, correct? Yes. All right. Well, isn't it the Quran in chapter 9, verse number 29, order the Muslims to fight and to kill all the Christians, either they pay the jizya and they no. convert or they die? If it's in the time of war, I wouldn't uh, worry about hold it. Hold on, my friend. But my friend, hold it's on. not. Uh, okay. And yes. that, in the time of war, but the Christian did not wage war on you. It's you waging war. Read with me carefully. This is your Quran. And I can open for you any translation you wish. Which translation you like most? It doesn't really matter as, as far as it's translated. Okay. Muhammad Yusuf Ali, I'm Muslim. I'm not going to use any translation. But the, it's, it's the problem is, you're, you're, you're showing another translation. They all contradict each other. I don't know who to listen to. Okay, that's why I'm asking you which translation you like. Uh, go to Al Jalalain. Al Jalalain is Al -Jalalain more is authentic. Translation. Al Jalalain is tafsir. The is yeah, tafsir. Okay. Tafsir all, right. all right, so we will go to a tafsir al Jalalain. Or to be of Ibn Kathir. Or no problem, be, no problem. Let us go to okay, Ibn Kathir. You want Ibn Kathir? Just tell me what do you want. I'm, I'm here. Ibn, Ibn Kathir, please. Ibn Kathir. Okay, Ibn Kathir. Let us go to Ibn Kathir. Give me a second. It's it's all right. Shocking. It's not. It's it can't be true. All right, we will see if it's true, my friend. And as you said, either I'm a filthy liar, or they are filthy liars. <laughs> One of us have to be. All right. So this is Ibn Kathir. I will show it to you in the screen. And remember, okay. this is your choice, not my choice. You wanted the Jalalain. I said, okay, I will show you Jalalain. You said Ibn Kathir. I will show you Jalalain. Whatever you want. This is Ibn Kathir. You see? It says Ibn Kathir. You see my screen? Mm -hmm. All right. <coughs> this is Ibn Kathir. And let me zoom out so you can see better and read better. Fight, fight those who okay, no, believe not read, in Let us go to verse number nine because this is many. Here he's explaining uh, etc. You, you speak Arabic, I'm assuming. Do you? Yes. Okay, that's wonderful. And then we can even read in Arabic. But let us go in our English now. Uh, fight against those who believe not uh, in Allah, nor the last days, nor what is forbidden, which is forbidden by Allah and His Messenger, and those who acknowledge not the religion of the truth from the people of the scriptures. Okay, why he want to fight them? Because they don't acknowledge the following things the last day of Islam, what is forbidden by Islam. And the message of Islam. Do I agree? Mm -hmm. Okay, so what is the reason to kill them? Because they don't acknowledge. And I think the verses are clear. Now let's read Ibn Kathir. Until they pay the jizya with willing and submission and feel themselves subdued. And read carefully. Ibn Kathir now is making his commentary. Subdued. Saying, Where does it say that? Okay, here we go. This is what the Quran is saying. You say you speak Arabic, right? It says Sagirun, yes. Sagirun, Sagirun means subdued, humiliated. Okay, little, little, therefore, yeah. <laughs> therefore, this is Mikathir talking now, not the Quran. Therefore, when people of the scriptures disbelieved in Muhammad and they had no beneficial faith in any messenger or what the messenger brought, rather they follow their own their religion because this is uh, 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 confirmed with their ideas lost. And the ways of their uh, 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 forefather, not because they are a law, law religion. They had been true believers in their religion. That faith would be have directed uh, them to believe in Muhammad. So, because they are not to believe in Muhammad, obviously they are liars, correct? And then he says, because all the people gave the good news to Muhammad, etc. Blah 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 blah. They believe in Muhammad, and look here what he said. That's harsh. Their religion, these religions, huh? came from Allah, but because this is sweet, their desire and lust. Therefore, their claimed faith is earlier 
an earlier prophet will not benefit them because they disbelieved in the master and uh, uh, the master of the last and the most the perfect of the prophet hence Allah's statement so because they did not believe in Muhammad it's not because they are fighting Muhammad I think that the proof is clear correct because mm -hmm. of that look what it says fight against those who believe not in Allah nor the last etc to the end of the verse and then it says this honorable ayah was revealed with the order to fight the people of the book after the pagan were defeated so Muhammad now he killed all the enemy who's left he killed the Jews he killed the you know he killed the, the, the Arab now it's time to finish those Christians and Jews so uh, the people enter into Allah religion in large numbers so Muhammad now have a big army because people are scared terrified and the Arabian Peninsula was secure under Muslim control Allah commanded his messenger to fight the people of the scriptures Jews and the Christians on the ninth year ninth years of the Hijrah he prepared an army to fight the Roman <laughs> it's not the Roman who fighted him he sent a letter to the Roman saying convert or die now uh, you say to me what are you specifically referring to what which battle it doesn't matter he decided this is the book supposedly Muhammad he went to the book but he could not make it because uh, uh, he could not get in you know uh, like uh, he was hoping to be able to attack but looked like they were ready for him so he was not able to attack and he came back after waiting for for uh, for some time in Tabuk. but then as you see here you said to me Islam teaching you that uh, you have your religion I have mine there's no conclusion in religion blah so this is in the beginning you see is what you know you speak Arabic and you should know better that in Islam there's is something is called abrogation yeah when, Nasuk, Nasuk, when yes. Muhammad he was weak he said okay you have your religion I have my religion because he cannot force them but, but as you see here but, and I, I a verse could be easily abrogated by uh, it's um, divine, uh, which is Allah. No problem, no problem. But there's what, no so, problem with that. Okay, but no you problem. Keep, but you keep, but you keep but insulting Islam by me? saying it's why, a cult. Hold on, why, why cult? you are quoting for let me? Let me translate a cult for you. My let friend, let my me friend. tell you just, what just cult wait, is, just my wait. friend. Wait, wait. Why you are quoting for me a verse which is abrogated? It's not valid because Al Kafirun, okay, let me tell you Al Kafirun, what cult is. and the other verse is not valid. It's abrogated by the chapter of Tawbah. Cult is a system. Cult is a system which is directly. Personally directed towards somebody towards someone a personal figure. Yes. Okay. Mm. So if you if you give me a verse, mm. okay, any verse mm. Being abrogated by um, Allah, it's no problem, but you can never find a verse Being abrogated by Muhammad himself. Oh, no, you are wrong. I can find you tons no, you cannot find me a single okay. one. You're okay. just making it up, just throwing, throwing too many things. People cannot pick okay. it up. Okay, okay. Let us finish this one, and I promise you I will go right away, and I will show you the verses which Muhammad abrogated. But let us agree that what you said about peace is, is it was not, I'm, I'm not going to say you are lying. I will say it was not true. Read carefully. Here it says, the messenger of Allah marched, heading toward a sham to fight the Roman and to reach the book. Uh, where he set a camp, etc., for etc., so he could not, you know, he could not do it. He came back, and the condition until they pay the jizya, if they do not choose to embrace Islam. So why we have to pay jizya? Because die or pay, and with willing submission well, in the everybody's paying jizya. What's the what's wrong with that? No, no, you no, no, in America, no, you no, pay no, taxes. no, no, no. This is our land. How we pay land? Our uh, the, the American occupy Iraq. They will force them to pay jizya because the American occupy them to protect them from the American. It's what your prophet is saying. And look what he says. It says in the verse, and feel, feel themselves subdued, disgraced, humiliated, uh, uh, like etc. Therefore, the Muslims are not allowed to honor the people of the Dhimma or elevate them above the Muslims. For they are miserable, disgraced, humiliated. Muslim reported that Abu Huraira, Allah the Prophet said, don't initiate salam to the Jews and the Christians and if you meet any of them in the road force them to the narrowest alley which means the sewage this is why the leader of the faithful Omar al-Khattab may Allah pleased with him demand his will no his will known conditions to be met by the Christians these conditions that ensured their continued humiliation disgrace etc do you see it 
Mm -hmm. So you are saying to me that Islam says you have your religion, I have mine. Those people, they have no guilt except they are Christians. And now you want to humiliate them because they refuse Islam. This is their crime. That's not what I was taught. But I'm showing you the proof and you are the one who asked me to read the because Mikasir. I, I, obviously, I'm working and living in a Christian country. Okay, my friend. And I'm dealing and uh, working with Christians and no Jews. Problem. They respect me so much. No problem. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying. I can't I'm not, my friend, use this verse against them. My friend, I'm not talking about you. This is not about you or me. You might be a wonderful person, but this is not about you and me. This is religion. So you said to me, read Ibn Kathir. I I quoted for you life on on air. What you choose, correct? It was your choice. So obviously, Islam is not what some Muslims they think. You are a Muslim, but you've been taught that uh, the Prophet says you have my religion, you have yours. This is when, when he was weak, it's abrogated. Now, we prove to you that the first thing you say to us about Islam, give a freedom of a choice. That is a big fat lie they told you. Even the Prophet of Islam, he says, I've been ordered to fight all mankind until they say there's no God but Allah and no Prophet but Muhammad. And if they do so, only if they do so, I will stop killing them and shedding their blood. And here we go. All those hadith are sahih and they are accurate. You have, you have not only, not only you have to say the shahada, you have to pray as we pray. You have to fast as we fast. You have to face the qibla. You have to pay the zakat. Is it a hadith? And, then, and this, is, hadith, this is sahih. This is sahih. It doesn't matter hadith or not. This is sahih. Yeah. No, sahih did you say it's hadith or, or Quran? My friend, this is hadith and sahih. But it okay. is in total agreement with Could chapter you, 9, verse 29. No. Could you show on the screen, please? I'm showing it on screen. You don't see it? It's not coming up. Okay, well, maybe you need to refresh your page. Let me refresh it. One second. Right. I have been ordered to fight the people till they say none has the right to be worshipped but Allah. And if they say so, pray like our prayers face our Qibla and slaughter as we slaughter. Then their blood and property will be sacred to us and we will not interfere with them except legally. And the reckoning will be with Allah. Hmm. So, what does that mean? Uh, what's the Sahih number 392? Sahih Bukhari 392. Let me call, I go, I go sunnah.com. Let me check. Sorry, I need to check. I don't trust anyone anymore. No Bukhari, right. Yeah. So that means, so this, if this is true, mm. it abrogates, I have 256 Surah Baqarah and Surah Kafirun. And the chapter at Tawbah abrogate everything because Quran is more powerful, right? So the Quran and the Hadith here confirm that what you said to me in the beginning, it was not really accurate. And this is the truth. But tell me one thing. It, is it anywhere in the Quran mm -hmm. backing up the hadith? We keep taking the hadith for granted. No, I just I just showed you the Quran first, and now I'll show you the hadith. I did not show you the hadith first and the Quran second. Does so the any hadith, ayat, any verse in the Quran saying you must listen to hadith. Oh yeah, there's tons of them. Because the, the show, Quran show okay, me one. Okay, hold on. The Quran says Whatever the prophet if Quran doesn't you, back up the hadith, the hadith can no, go no, invalid. Yeah, no problem. Let me show you. I will show you tons of reference. All right. Chapter 59, verse number 7. Whatever mm -hmm. the prophet he gave you, you take it. So, you take what the messenger assigned to you. Whatever he says to you, you take it. It is. 
an order. <coughs> You see it? Yeah, yeah, I Chapter see. Chapter 59, verse number 7. Let us see more. There's many. There's too many. All right? And the Quran says, too, that whoever uh, whoever uh, obey Allah, uh, the messenger, he obey Allah. All right? Read with me carefully, please. And you will see chapter 4 verse number 80 he who obey the messenger obey Allah he who obeys the messenger hmm. correct let me check I got Talal Itani Quran. Let me check how he is. It's obviously all against each other. You can't. You, you don't know who who to listen to. No, it's uh, it says confirming he, that you have to obey Muhammad first, because obeying Muhammad is obeying Allah. So which means Muhammad. That, that's is wrong. A... That's that's no no good. I don't I don't obey. Uh, a person rather than no God. Friends, not up to you. This is your Quran. You are a Muslim. You have to obey. And um, it's ayah uh, eighty, is it? Right. What? Uh, what yeah. do you want my help? So, you, uh, did we confirm this one? No, no, no. I, 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 I can't deny this. Okay. So, if was, was Muhammad a god? He's a perfect god. He's a god, or he is, he's a human like us? Uh, should he should have been a human? Okay. And do, because do he human, clearly saying Abdul Abdu Abdu Rasul. Okay. Do human do error and mistakes and commit sin? Was Muhammad of a sinner? Course. Was Muhammad a sinner? yes he okay. was okay the quran confirmed that too thank you to make it easy for me so now how you can obey a sinner and by obeying the sinner me or you no, or you can obey you can not, never obey a sinner okay so it says here he obey the messenger obey allah to assume, i wouldn't to assume that i, I can I obey i don't allow my children to kiss my hands either i don't like my friend people not, you see i'm talking about you or me with my respect to you i'm talking about this is what the Quran is saying. In order to obey Allah, you obey Muhammad first. And this is not my translation. And you speak Arabic. Huh? Okay, so it's clear. So you have to obey Muhammad. Now, you said to me, when we were talking about Ibn Kathir and killing Christians, you said to me, there's no single verse in the Quran was abrogated by Muhammad is that correct yeah yeah all right uh, what about the muta'a Mut uh, um, well I've, I've read this briefing about but I muta was allowed in Quran okay chapter 4 the same Muhammad chapter, allowed it too the same chapter we are pra uh, reading from chapter 4 verse number 24 okay and do you practice muta today no why because my wife is gonna kill me. <laughs> this is not the question. This is not because of. No, I don't. I don't believe. Muta is 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 not. Uh, no, it's filthy. It's like okay, to so me. Mut so sounds like a prostitution okay. business. Okay, thank you. I respect your your honesty. You agree that this is a prostitution. So why Allah allowed the muta? Yeah, because because muta is uj ujra. But it's for uh, you pay money for it. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Mut it's not a free service. It's it's you exactly. pay somebody to have sex. This exactly. is what muta means. Exactly. Actually, even those tamaskaras agree that this is about renting a woman mustajara. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So why Allah He allow you? You just said it's prostitution. Why? Uh, Allah he allow you to rent women uh, all 
all I'm all I have been trying to do all these years in my life, um, asking these verses, but I just you know, convincing myself they're probably a different time of life. Mm. Okay, but let us go back. Different needs. No problem. But, but no, you see, see, why? Did Musa allow people to do muta before Muhammad? Muhammad uh, Musa is a lot older. Did Jesus allow muta? No. I mean, that's not a, that's not a reason. I mean, if, if, if we want to find reason, we can find reason for anything. Like, you might say to a man who is a rapist, why you rape this woman? Oh, she was wearing a short skirt. <laughs> but that would not change the fact that you are a rapist. Correct? If you ask him, no, he's, he wanna, he, you know. he's a thief. Why you stole? Oh, uh, this guy, he have a lot of money, but still you are a thief. You know, this is not excuse. Look what it says right. here. This is your Muslim website and those audio scholars saying that Muslim women, when she have the contract of muta, in some works, a special terms applied. Women who practice muta, musta ajara, or rented women, Muta is considered as a kind of rental because, in general, a man basic aim of this kind of marriage is sexual enjoyment of the women. And in the return of his enjoyment of the women, he pay money, as you say. All right? So you agree, the scholars of the Muslim agree that this is a rental. Now, was the muta abrogated by Allah? Yes. Where? Should have been. Because the Sunni is not doing it anymore. Only no the Shia. Problem. No um, problem. Okay, but I'm asking people, you. People you stop doing me, it. Shia is doing it in Yemen friend, and Iran. You remember, my friend, you said to me, show me where Muhammad, he abrogated the muta. This is in the Hadith. You said to me, mm -hmm. show me where the Hadith abrogated the Quran. The Hadith abrogated the Quran. Here we go. We go to the Hadith. If if this is correct, hmm. it it goes into a form of cult because a personal cult, not even a cult, a personal, very very personal cult, because a man cannot bypass a god's order. All right, simple as that. Well, you see, when you called me in the beginning, you said why you. But show me the Islam. hadith, please. Okay, no problem. When you when you uh, when you call me in the beginning. You said to me, why you keep insulting Islam, saying that Islam, uh, let me find uh, some hadith, okay. Yeah, we need to, to prove it, not just uh, I never, saying I never, cult. You know, you are watching for long, I think, already, and you, you noticed that I never said something without proof. And I'm doing the same with you, the same as I do with everybody. So nothing, it's nothing uh, new. All right, let's see. Uh, it's uh, let us uh, find one of the hadith. There's tons of them, but we will find the most authentic ones. All right, Sahih Muslim or Sahir Bukhari, whatever you wish. Uh, let us go with this one right in the top. Sahih Muslim, hadith number 1406. You see it, the page? Mm -hmm. All right. The Messenger of Allah said, O people, I had permitted you to contract muta with women, but Allah forbid it now until the day <laughs> of resurrection. <laughs> Where he forbid it? There's no Quran. Muhammad is uh, Muhammad is Allah. Remember this verse. Muhammad is Allah. Abrogate. There is no verse abrogating. Uh, this is hadith. Only yes, hadith. yes. I I have my friend. Two years ago, I have confronted an imam, a very very big imam in London. Okay, hmm. and he, he gave Surah Nur ayat thirty three. He said that um, that action that um, mut'a was abrogated in the Quran. Where before Muhammad? Where? Surah Nur, Surah Al Nur, Ayat 33. Okay, and Nur, we will go to An Nur. All right, here we go, 24. 33? Yes, okay. he, he told me a story about uh, yeah, that's Abdullah false. Saluli. That's, that's, I... that's false, my friend. There's nothing here have to do with the muta. This is about wearing, covering their clothes. What does have to do with the muta? That's false. And you will not find anyone even agree with this. 
Surah Al Nur, Ayat 33. 33, okay, 33. All right, sorry. Okay. So, how this is ab abrogating the muta? Actually, this verse alone should make you leave Islam. This verse legalize prostitution. No. Yeah, well, read with me. One second. Read with me carefully. It says, but force not your slaves for prostitution when they yeah, desire necessity in order that you make a gain in the goods which may make money of this life but if yeah. any of you compels them yet after that allah is all merciful and forgiven so uh, what the quran is saying and i think you speak arabic you it's, speak english so it's very clear it's, that um, if they agree with you if they agree with you, you can do prostitution. Force them not. Force them not to do prostitution. He did not say prostitution is forbidden. Force them not. Huh? Force them not. Okay. So if they agree, it's okay. And if you force them, Allah is all merciful anyway. <laughs> And we're here, we're in this verse is saying that, you know, a muta is, uh, is, uh, is abrogated by this verse. There's nobody, there's no Muslim in the world believe in this. <laughs> if Allah is Ghafur Rahim for who? For it the... doesn't matter. There's no penalty. There's no punishment, and and prostitution is allowed. Another example. Another example. Allah He sent down ten verses for breastfeeding. You yeah. mean uh, bre breastfeeding, like for men? Kids. For men? No, for men. Would you breastfeeding for what? For men. Allah, he allowed Muslim women to give their breast to a strange man to suckle them ten times. What in the Quran? My friend, this is in the Quran, yeah. This is, was in the Quran, but it's not in the Quran no more. And the wife of Muhammad, she used to order uh, any women, anyone, any man who want to enter upon Aisha, to suckle the nieces or the sisters of Aisha. Read with me carefully. Yahya related to me from Malik, from etc., from 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 Ram, that Aisha, the mother of the believer, sent him away while he was being nursed to her sister, Umm Umm Kathum, been to Abi Bakr, a Saddi, and he said, suckle him ten times so that can come to see me. <laughs> okay, I want to ask you, where is this chapter? Where is this verse in the Quran now? No, you can't see anything in like, like that in the Quran. Okay, where it is? I don't know. You tell me. I will tell you, no problem. If it's nowhere, if it's not in the Quran, it doesn't exist. No, it exists. But what happened, a god did eat it. So we can say in this case, it's not really Muhammad who abrogated this. It was the goat. Read with me carefully. The verse of stoning to death and breast stoning and breastfeeding for adult 10 times was revealed. And the paper was with me under my pillow. When the messenger of Allah died, we were preoccupied with his death, and a tame sheep came and ate it. Down there it says, these verses were abrogated in recitation, but not in ruling. <laughs> How you can abrogate something in recitation? I mean, this is funny. <laughs> this is shocking, not funny. For me, it's funny. It's stupid too. Stone and breastfeeding, not just one. Yeah. But this meant to be memorized, okay? No, it's not. That was the time no, when the Quran was the not Quran, written. My friend, all the Quran at that time was memorized anyway. So when you say meant to be, did Allah says to you, which one you memorize, which one you write down? No. He gave you Quran, and then later, uh, Uthman, he decided what to write down. And as you see, even the goat ate what is written. It was not meant to be memorized. It's written. And it was under the pillow of Aisha, which is the pillow of Muhammad. So it's meant to be written. This is why the goat ate it. Otherwise, if it's only memorized, well, the goat will not be able to eat something memorized.
don't know what to say to be honest. Um, I'm going to have to go to the mosque tomorrow evening and in front of everybody confronting these imams because they okay, each translation contradicts the other. They are, I, I don't understand why should I lie about my God? If if you can challenge my God, I don't need this God. If a Christian prince, an Arab from nowhere, could challenge my God, I don't need this God. Okay, well, my God, my writing, God. my God's book, the Quran, should challenge billions of Christian prince. Well, but he cannot. Why these people lie about it, I don't understand. But you remember when you called me, you said to me, you are lying about Islam? No, I didn't say that. I said, you either a fat liar, as you, you keep repeating yourself, yeah, or... But you are assuming that I'm lying, obviously, right? You were assuming I have, or not. I've been in Islam since the age of five, since I literally remember. Hmm. And about 40 years of my life, I've been praying to Allah, okay? And you... I. As I talk, believe me, my, my hand is shaking. It's it's very hard to talk about this, to question this book. It's been so holy to me. You know, it's like somebody skinning me alive. Very hard. Well, I understand, my friend. But as you see, we are not lying to you. And I'm showing you everything right in the front of your eyes. No, no, obviously, I'm, I'm writing all these references. And we'll, we'll confront this... Um, Mullahs, because they are blind to people. He told me that at 33, Surah An Nur abrogated that mut'a. But it was, well, obviously, it was my fault. I didn't secondly, thoroughly secondly, uh, chase that. You said that, that mut'a is prostitution. What kind of God he allow prostitution? Well, not, uh, is, is more than prostitution. Yeah, so what the point no. of allowing prostitution? I mean, a man, he want to have sex, go and get married. But, uh, no, no, but I was not for money. Prostitution <laughs> these days is for money. Some some prostitutes um, but, uh, take for money. credit and cards. You are the one who said that, you said but to me. Prostitute but, uh, at the time was for a kilo of grain or rice. It's the same, same. Uh, if you, if that you, was true. My friend, oh. as, it's the same. If you give somebody a return for sleeping with you, that is prostitution. You know, it can't uh, be from God. Product, this, this product and uh, re reward can be changed. Like maybe today you can send the pay by credit card, but that will not change the fact that it's money, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. If a woman she sleep with you because you, you for, if a woman money for she sleep, sex is very bad. It's if no a woman good. she sleep with you because you bought her uh, a gift, whatever. This is um, uh, this is prostitution. You know, it's it's product. It's a uh, it, obviously it says I showed you even the Islamic reference saying. That this is an, uh, uh, renting a woman, renting a woman uh, for the exchange of sexual pleasure. That's why it's called muta. Muta means uh, pleasure, correct? But how could, um, let's say, let, let's, uh, I admit this one. Um, how could Muhammad know about all these facts about the universe? Like what? And this, I had 30 in Surah Anbiya. He, he talks about the Big Bang, how the earth was. Um, Okay. Um, created. I think it's Surah Anbiya no, at 30. Is, you don't need to tell me. Don't worry about it. This is why I'm a Christian prince, my friend. Okay. If we go to the verse, it's, it's chapter two. we will find the following. Chapter 21, verse number 30. <clears throat> right away, you will see in the beginning that there is something silly and stupid in the verse. Read with me the first line, please. Can you read it for me? Yeah. Okay, what it says. Do not the unbelievers see. Hmm. That the Could you turn to the Arabic one, please? No problem. Here we go. This is the Arabic. Oh, let me hear all the Nakafa and the Sama or all other kind of Rukhan for the Did you notice with me what is a stupid mistake there? 
You all don't want to say yes, it to me. Yes, it's a mistake, Yara. It can't be Yara because right. you can't Thank see you what happened much. back there. You are a smart there person. Thank you. Here we go. Billion years Guys, ago. How, how this is a scientific discovery, and he is saying, don't they see Yara? Okay, yeah. so what he's talking yeah. about, they are talking about that the Arab at that time uh, believe uh, uh, that Allah, he raised the sky up. It was together, and he raised them up. Where is the Big Bang? It says that the earth and the sky were joined together, which means there was earth and there was a sky. This is not what the Big Bang is saying. I don't believe in the Big Bang, by the way, but I'm going with you. So there is earth, there is a sky, or what we did, we split them. But this is this is not true. But big, big Bang is not a fact. Big Bang is uh, the most... Is a theory. Um, it is a theory. Most well. No, it is a theory. Plausible a theory, you can say. Uh, well, yes. it, it's uh, this is up to you. But anyway, the Quran did not only hear he make a mistake. Secondly, if you read uh, the 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 chapter you choose, it says, and we had set on the earth mountains standing firm, so it should not shake on them. The fact is, the mountains are not set on the top of the earth. The mountains are coming down from the deep earth. When the tectonic plates, they meet each other. The yeah, mountain is a product of, of volcanoes. Volcanoes or tectonic plates. Like tectonic when, when the layers yeah. erupt. Okay, so, but here, yeah. here is saying the opposite. All the lovers. Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth, so it's not going to shake on us. So the Quran is described... 31? Huh? What did we say? 30 or 31? Uh, we are reading second, both sorry. 30 and 31. So the first one is wrong. Secondly, and we will explain to you how he claimed that the, the first one, how it worked. So now, he, Allah, he left up huh, the sky. And later we'll show you in a different verse, he made it a roof. And here he's saying that Allah, he placed the mountains in the top of the earth. Do you believe in this? Is that accurate or this is false? Mm, scientifically, this is uh, doesn't make sense to me. Okay, but you are the one who chose this chapter for me, but, not me. But I didn't say 31, it said 30. No problem. So 30 and 31, they can be no each other. If this is a we mistake. have set on, on the earth yeah. mountains standing firm. Hmm. And the purpose what? They will not shake on us. Japan is a country have between an average of 800 <laughs> to 2,000 earthquake a day. And it's all of it is mountains. Actually, the reason they have mountains is because there's earthquakes and volcanoes and etc. So, here, Muhammad, he exposed his, his fabrication. Now, read with me carefully. And we made the heavens as a canopy, well guarded. Is that the atmosphere? No, I'm, I'm, I'm shocked now. Well, is, is that that? Because I heard Muslims saying that this is the atmosphere. Yes, they are right because the translation they get, I'm afraid, in in other languages like exactly. English. So does it, sound, does it sound like this is the atmosphere? No. What the Quran is speaking of, that shaitan he try to spy at Allah and Allah will shoot the shaitan by a star. Is that correct? Yes. All right. Do you really believe in this? That the stars... No are made to shoot shaitan in his ass if you try to spy and we have guarded it what is the heaven Allah claiming that only the lowest heaven have stars and this is where some Muslims they lie and they say that this is speaking about the atmosphere but if this is the atmosphere it's mean only in the atmosphere we have stars so we have created the uh, the, the stars and we made them only in the in, in the lowest heaven as to beautify the uh, for the beholder and the top of that and we have guarded it which mean what the near heaven with from every outcast shaitan okay how he cast how, how he cast shaitan out except him the devil that gain hearing by stealing he is pursued by a clear flaming fire do you believe in this um. How Allah shoot Shaitan Muhammad he captured the Shaitan he tied him up in the column of the of the mosque 
So such a small, uh, tiny creature, Allah, he will shoot a star. To do what? So where do, you, where do you get this translation from? Who cares? You speak Arabic. Uh, you can change translation. Chapter 15, verse number 18, 17, 16. You can read in Arabic. Even the, even the English ones have different... Everyone translated in... Because they lie. Because simply, many of them, what they do... Yeah, that's, that's what, what may, makes me very angry about it. Yeah, they, they lie in order to make you... Like deceiving people. I cover. feel sorry for those um, innocent Muslims coming here and swearing at people. But, the, but remember, their book remember, has been remember, you said to separate. me, either you are a big fat liar, so you were not far away from them just uh, 15 minutes ago. You thought I am a fat liar. You yourself. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so what do you think? Is that from God or this is stupid? And then here he says, and the earth was spread out. Well, Ardu Madadnaha. Is the earth spread out no. like a carpet? I don't know what is your education. What is the what is the geoscience? Where is the, uh, this? Is my field? This is your field. That's I wonderful. Studied geoscience. Okay, yes. Geos that's wonderful. Okay, where is the where is the hail is coming from? Because listen, um, the beginning elements were hydrogen. Okay, hmm. so Surat Anbiya. I'm I'm thinking of if if God meant. He separated Earth from the skies. Mm. If he meant the Big Bang, let's say, doesn't even make sense either. Because um, the Earth is is very very young compared to the beginning of the universe. Okay, because the the primary elements like hydrogen was at the beginning of the universe. But Earth is containing iron, which takes billions of years okay. to appear. Okay, so you can't stick a plastic to a gold, they don't stick together, they are different. You see, I am, I am not, uh, but I'm, I'm trying, I will, I will chase these verses. Um, okay. as long as long this is your, your, this is your science and this is your study. I want to ask you, where is where is hail coming from? Hail. Hail. Yeah, hail. The, the... Hail. Hail is 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 a water. Okay. Water. Uh, affected by the uh, Arctic wind, very cold Arctic wind, and they became hail. That's that's, okay. that's how it's made. So you don't think it's coming from mountains, and Allah He break hail from those mountains. Mountains? Yeah. What do you mean? Mountain. Mountains, like in the sky, there's mountains, and Allah He break with the hammer, hail, and He throw it at us. Well, is it in the Quran? I'm just asking you now. Before we talk about from where, do you believe? No, I don't, I, even if if I, if I say that myself, I wouldn't believe it. I wouldn't take it for granted. Okay, but if we find it, hail is coming from the sky. It's the vaporization of of our oceans. Okay, right. in a dense cloud, they they become hail snow or rain all right so if i find it for you from the quran are you willing to leave islam um i can't decide now because i need to lots of things to chase it doesn't matter but, if, uh, if this one is a lie i mean the rest is a lie i mean you just say this is impossible this no, is i'm true. not i'm not um, i'm not hypocrite um I, I i don't deny any mistakes if i do a mistake i but put if, my hands up Quran, if my the father Quran, do a mistake if the Quran then... is unvaried no more islam is gone chapter 24 you are the one if who this of the if these are true my friend yes okay. i i you will denounce listen. islam all right that's wonderful guys he said he promised he would denounce islam the same chapter you are the one who asked me to go to chapter of Nur before chapter 24 verse number 43 you can read in Arabic, you can read in English, in any war, any language you want. In English, they try to fabricate and to change the meaning. But I will show it to you in Arabic. And as long as you speak Arabic, me and you, we will get better understanding. It says mm -hmm. here, Does it say that or I'm lying? Yes, very clear. All right. You promised 
you will denounce Islam. Hail is coming from mountains in heaven. I mean, even cartoon, they don't do that. And look here in the first translation. I want you to confirm this with me. I believe somebody mixed uh, somebody mixed these things into Quran when they uh, written. My friend, my friend, there's, there's nothing called the book. Mixed. Either it's this is from God. Either this is so. This is not a book of God. And look what, here. As long as you speak Arabic, why the Muslims they lie and they say like mountains? Does it say like mountains in the Arabic? No, the, the, anything between these two brackets uh, don't. So they just are don't, trying. They are trying. They are trying to cover yeah. to cover up. So look, they send down from the sky from mountains, from mountains, which is in heaven, hail. No, it doesn't make sense. So they fabricate the translation in order to cover the stupidity. Whoever wrote this book is is a foolish. I mean, you know, this is maybe work for people who whoever, don't. Whoever, whoever, this bit, this part here, whoever written, didn't have a clue about anything in the sky. But what's going on in the sky? Assuming that the one who did this is Allah, Allah have no clue. What about this? I don't believe. I don't believe this is from a God. Look at no. this. Allah, He created the three kind of creatures. Because one of the one of the um, principles of being a God is do not afford any mistakes. Hmm. What makes me different from God is I am doing mistakes. I do a lot of mistakes, but God should be a little bit different from me. No mistakes. Well, my friend, from the first page of the Quran to the last page. I can show you endless mistakes. I'm not showing you really mistakes. I'm I'm just showing you a chapter you, you choose yourself to prove to me Islam to be true. So Islam is the most silly cult. And now you understand why I am saying it's a cult. You said, you said, why I'm calling Islam as a cult. Now, you promise me if I show you this and this will be true, you will leave Islam, correct? Yes. Are you willing to keep your promise? Yes. So are you denouncing Islam? If, if this is all true, we heard Islam is a cult. So you agree Islam is a cult? Yes. Thank you very much. Because a go an order from God, okay, could never be bypassed by any man. That's one. Never. Thought. I'm really happy for you. Because if if that happens, God loses its status as God. You can call it something else. Hmm. Okay. If a president if, for example, a Trump, if Trump makes an order, let's say Iranian is not allowed to enter the USA, and an officer, a police officer in the airport said, no, forget about Trump, I'm in charge here, he's going to go to prison, or Trump loses his status. So now, compare that to God, Almighty God, it doesn't make a sense, my friend. Absolutely. No. Hypocrisy is not in my mind. I listen to reality. I listen to proof, evidence. But you know, you as a as a person who, like today, after this but, moment, you are a Muslim. I can't call you a Muslim no more. But I want to ask you: When the Muslims they say there is science and the Quran and etc., why they lie? Why they fabricate things? Tell me, I was going to ask you this question. Why this, they either make money because they there are loads of books um, in London. You got too many libraries, Islamic libraries. They selling billions of dollars a year on books. They get in from probably the Arab countries um, for printing these books because the books are obviously very very expensive. Yeah. They all laminated, nice colored, you know. And pictures, it, it, and you I think it, it, it cost fifty dollars each. And they insert, but they sell them for cheap. They insert articles about scientists, or sometimes sometimes fake scientists, and sometimes real scientists, just to fool people, saying Quran match with science. No, you don't have to do that. No Muslims. If any Muslim is listening to me, if if anybody. Any Muslim brothers or sisters trying to do that is fooling themselves because my God should be able to challenge somebody like me or Christian Prince. Who is this guy? Who is Christian Prince? How could he? 
easily come and challenge my God with evidence. Is that what makes you angry? Because I was like a host yes. Christian prince. <laughs> the, what makes me angry is people fabricating to the facts. But yeah, I never fabricate. You see, this is why I go live and I say, people, you can call me and you can question and you are welcome. I never, I never, uh, I never. Everything I say, I show in the screen. Everything, every single word. It's it's my fault because um, um, I should have. I did, I did have a chance to chase the facts, but I just kept it, you know, under the blanket, as we say. So, my friend, I am a Christian, as you know, and I take the opportunity to invite you to accept the Messiah as your savior. You left Islam. That's wonderful. For me, I'm not done to save you yet. I did the half of the job, and I would love to invite you to accept the what, Messiah as what your Lord. would you recommend me to read? Because I'm gonna again like Islam. I'm not gonna just take Islam like another religion like that. No, no. I will read about it. No, absolutely not. Okay. No, you can and read. If, you can read. If Christianity does make a sense to me, yes, I will call call you back in a month time probably. All right. And we will have a chat. All right. If okay. not, I can still come back and uh, telling you about, you know, arguing Christianity as well, because I don't, I'm not scared to talk about Christianity. If, even if, if I know 100% is from God. No, neither we are. We, this is why we are. God here. <laughs> should challenge all, all of us. Yeah, you are welcome, my friend. Anyway, God's take, word take should be like a read, atomic bomb. Read the, Nobody read could the, face read the, it. Read the four Gospels, you know, of of, uh -oh. of Christ, and you know, try to when you read, try to like. Uh, you see, I'm sure you are smart. What's and, this uh, uh, um, story behind the Old Testament and New Testament? What is the problem? There's no, there's no story. It's the Old Testament. It's simply the Old Testament is a book about God and history in the same time. The history of the Jews with God. Right. As simple as that. So the Jews, uh, uh, the Old Testament is a book of books. It's not one book. And this book contain their history with people around them and their history with God. How this they disobey him sometime? How they obey him sometime? How God he uh, he was uh, uh, he, he you know like how they forsake their God sometime? So the Old Testament mostly is kind of a, a collection of many many stories about what happened to the Jews and the prophets uh, of the Jews. The New Testament is about Christ and what he accomplished in this earth when he came to us. And this is why so, I say, if you if somebody you, like me, where where should the New Testament, the New start. Testament, because the, the the Old Testament for me New is just to increase my knowledge about history of man with God, but the New Testament. So why are they saying it's been uh, corrupted? Um, who says that? The Muslims. I've, well, I I heard uh, I heard from uh, too many imams uh, the Bible. Oh, it's is corrupted. Is you see, the imams, this is the problem is, the imams are, they are, you remember when you call me, says either you are a big fat liar, the imam are the big fat liar. I will show you something from the Quran and you tell me what you you translate to us. Uh, let me open the Quran. All right. This is the Quran, I will put it in the screen. What Musaddiqan Lima Ma'ahum mean? Confirming what is with them, correct? Need to refresh. And when they continue. And when they came to them, somebody saying that you are crying. Are you crying, my friend? No. Okay. If I'm crying, I, I would cry for myself. I would cry for all. Yeah, I'm saying. So, so I mean, yeah, there's of, nothing wrong with the crying from from. Chasing uh, rainbow. Yeah. Uh, 
I'm crying for my childhood. I'm crying for my youth. Oh, you are crying then. Okay, I understand. That that you know, let you cry and let uh, the tears wash the anger. Nothing wrong with the crying. But I, I haven't I haven't killed anybody for my faith. I understand. I was always showing a right, you know, the beautiful face of Islam. Uh, I didn't know about all this. Well, I'm happy for you, my today, friend, my friend. You called me, and I'm glad that you, you know, uh, you were able to call and uh, crying. You know, uh, great men they cry. And David, we cry today. We cry always, you know, and cry can wash our sin. That's wonderful. Don't worry about it. So do you see? They said, they said to you that the Bible is corrupt, but the Quran says, and this is the Muslim translation, which is strange that this translator here is not being a hypocrite too much. It says, confirming what is with them, the Jews, which is the Torah, and the Injil, which is the Christian, the Gospel. Mm -hmm. So how they lie, and why? The Quran is saying, confirming what is with them, with them now. Yeah, I see. They lie to you, my friend. They are a bunch of liars. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not going to put uh, too much pressure on you. I can tell you are crying, and uh, we are, you know, all the Christians there, they are praying for you. Well, thank you very much for all this. I've written everything. I will have a chat with some men. Well, what about, know, if they know, have, um, what about you challenge them to come and debate me? Let us make a challenge. If they yes, dare. that's what I was going to say, yes. Yeah. Let us see if they dare to do it. And you will see, they were never there. Yeah. They were never. The only way they will come to debate me, if you don't tell them, Christian press, don't tell them who I am. Tell them, I want to, I will call this guy and you debate him live. If you tell them this is a Christian press, that will never happen. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome, my friend. We are happy for you.